Girl Studying the Rapper, and I'm here with Takara CB. And make sure you tune into this interview, and also make sure you follow me on all platforms at S U N N I T H A R A P P E R. I just dropped my new EP, it's called Pussy Crack, so make sure you go check that out. Hey, what's up? It's your girl Sakara, and you already know I'm with Sunny the Rapper. Okay, okay. Yeah, so we out here in LA for BET Awards 2023. How are you feeling? I'm good. How are you feeling? Good. Thank you. Now, I know you're originally from Los Angeles, mm -hmm. but raised out in Texas. Yes. So, talk to me a little bit about that because that's an interesting mix because LA is so widespread and mm -hmm. big. And then Texas, you got a lot of culture. Right. And, you know, Beyonce, uh, <laughs> Megan Thee Stallion. Like, Definitely. So, talk to me about that. Well, I feel like I always got a chance to, you know, kind of have the best of the both worlds. My mama made sure I always knew where I was from. And then even just the upbringing and the type of music that I would listen to was all very much so West Coast based. And then as I got a little older, I started getting into, you know, the screw and the history of Houston and, oh, cool. you know, and all of that kind of stuff. I was able to really engulf myself in that. So I think that now me being an artist and really, you know, Finding my sound, I feel like I can definitely say I have kind of the best of both worlds because my music don't sound like I'm from Houston or it don't really sound like I'm from LA, but you can hear it in my voice, you can hear the Texas in my voice. But the style of rap and the, you know what I'm saying, or my beat choosing might be more, you know, on the LA end or just not so much Houston, you know, based. But I think I'm just thankful that I'm able to kind of like, like I said, have the best of both worlds. Yes, and I love that because I feel like when people listen to different music from other mm -hmm. cultures, we have something we like from that. But Definitely. to have it combine, like if you take the best of both worlds together and put it yeah. on the track, I'm like, oh yeah, 100% we in there. Like. Yeah, no, for real. I'm thankful for it because I'm glad that I was able to know more than one. I think my friends, they are very Houston, you know, mm -hmm. down to the stuff that they listen to. I'm Houston, but I'm very much so widely, like, I feel oh, like man. rounded <laughs> <laughs> with the music. Yes, and I want to ask you, do you feel like you get a lot of support out in Texas? Because y'all have like some really big female artists mm -hmm. that from there, like the biggest. <laughs> right. Um. Definitely feel like, you know, every city that you, you have to build your support in your fan base and you have the people who are going to, you know, fuck with you and support you. And then you always going to have those people who going to circle back, you know, yeah. who, who might have skipped over you and stuff like that. I feel like it's just pretty much that in Houston. It's like you have yours that support you. And then you have those that's kind of waiting for you to take off so they can play all the way. You know, you got them. Don't forget about me. Don't right. And I'm like, I don't know. What's up? But you missed the train. Exactly. It's funny that you say that too. I feel like people are always like ride waivers. So mm -hmm. how, how do you feel when you saw like, okay, like Drew got really popular. It's like mm -hmm. different phases of music. Like Definitely. Especially like that. Like trends of music. Um, I think that's just the industry, if you know this or think about it. Of course, I feel like quality and good music has still a bit, you know, floating and surviving, but it's also just trends and fads are definitely more like, you know, it's a ratchet wave right now and it's a against the wave a little bit and it's mm -hmm. just, you know, then you got the drill wave. So the tip top wave, kind of it's all doing its own thing in its own lane. Um, I think the biggest difference right now is just like the overnight viral sensations are just way bigger now depending on what your lane is. So it's just, yeah, it just depends. <laughs> It's all over the place if you ain't me out of that. That's so true. And you know what? That was too, like, 50th anniversary of hip-hop. So I'm like, mm -hmm. Ashley, what are your three favorite styles throughout all of these 50 years of culture mm -hmm. and entertainment? You mean styles of music? Yeah, like, now that we're talking about, like, the different genres. Well, it's all the same genre, but the different mm -hmm. waves that they got. So I'm curious to know if Screw is on that list. But I'm like, Well, I definitely <laughs> love Screw. I, I have certain albums to this day that, like, just sound better to me, Screw. Mm -hmm. You know, um, so Screw screw music is definitely something. I don't probably listen to it as much as I used to. I had a phase where I, was, I would listen to it, like, a lot. Yeah. And then, um... I'm still not, I listen, I like drill music, of course, because of like, you know, the certain artists that are coming out now, but I never really was like a drill music person, really. But I do like, like the trap rap or like rap singing. I feel like, um, that wave of music, I, I probably, even still, it depends on <laughs> 
Because <laughs> some stuff is a little whiny and annoying. Oh, yeah. I don't know. I think I'm, I don't really have a top three because I just really listen to so many different styles of music and even just R&B and just even like, I don't really be that much into the rap. I listen to myself a lot. You know what I'm saying? I listen to other female artists too, just so I can always make sure I'm keeping up with what's popping in my lane. But everything else, <laughs> <laughs> at least you're honest. I, I hear what I hear, but I ain't really out here like up on the underground, up and coming music and stuff like that. Like or like what what's popping on the radios because in houston i feel like they play the same things on the radio so it's you yeah. definitely not gonna know out there what's popping yeah. <laughs> like you're gonna be the same people on the radio the same songs that the major labels are pushing and that's right that's <laughs> last but not least because i definitely want to hear this answer from you what's your favorite song that you've ever done okay if it wasn't for this artist hip-hop would not be what it is today if it wasn't for lauren hill hip-hop would not be what it is today I love Lauren Hill. <laughs> yes. She's my favorite artist. Her and Tupac. Ooh, Tupac's my favorite artist too. Yep. Yes, girl. Yes. <laughs> well, Tupac had a huge impact on the culture. Very Do you huge. Know what impact you want to make, like specifically? Yeah, definitely. I think my biggest impact is definitely on my women, especially my black women. You know what I mean? I don't think that no one, of course, can understand what any other race goes to, but I am a black woman, so I know what we go through, <laughs> and I know what trials and tribulations we stand with every single day and I feel like my music of course I wanted to touch all cultures but it started with me and who I am because of you know my things that I want to be motivated in the feelings that I want to feel I want to feel good and have fun and be motivated with my friends yeah. I want to feel like when I walk in the room I'm the head bitch in charge I want to feel like I'm that bitch wherever I go you know <laughs> what I'm saying because nobody else tell me nothing different <laughs> and I also I want my the people who listen to my music, the people who listen to my music, I want them to feel the same. Ooh, I love that answer. <laughs>